Hey fellas, uh, I'm sure you don't know this, but um, are you interested in a book review? Are you? I have a, I have a pretty uh, sizable collection here. I think it's uh, over 30 or 40. I think it's around 30 or 40 books. I'm reading this one now. So I mean, Julep Murder. It's about uh, five authors that uh, they killed uh, this one author that wrote a book about them. Oops. Uh, and they're framing here, Lauren's darling, because they have her fingerprints and she doesn't know how or why. Yeah, it's an interesting book. It's kind of fun. I mean, Julep Murder. I haven't finished it. I'm, I'm only halfway through. Other than that. I have, uh, I have a couple of Andy McNabb books. This one's uh, was reading this, but I forgot because of Joel at Murder. You know, I have these two Jonathan Kellerman books, uh, the Murder Book and A Cold Heart. I really like uh, Kellerman because he's a psychologist writer, and I am also I'm studying psychology right now. So maybe you know, maybe I can have a route as a as, as a novel novelist, I also have this the clinic. I bought it because it's shiny. Yes, it's very shiny. I also have Firewall here. Sorry if you can see Firewall, Lord of the Flies. I'm not reading that. This is my most expensive book as of right now. I haven't read it. <laughs> Paradise, Lost in Paradise, the game is just full of poems. I got bored with it. Maybe I'll read it soon. Cold Tracks. I've, I read the reviews that. Oh, uh, this is like their debut. Uh, here we go. Uh, their, this is their, their, their debut album, but I believe it's not really that good. I don't know. I haven't read it yet. It's a murder mystery. All the, most of these are mysteries in the front row. I have this one. This looks very impressive. Uh, Irish whiskey by Andrew Greeley. He's Irish. I have last light and post mistress, which is about I believe. Uh, somewhere in World War II setting. That's why I bought it. And yeah, Post Mistress, maybe soon. I have Perfect Blue. It's my only like novel right now. Um, I think it's a romance. I'm not sure. Uh, Garden of Lies. I also have a few in the back here. Oh yeah, Blue Book and Murder. Soon. This is my first book. American Spy. Yes, and I have also this one. This volley, I believe it is in Victorian? Yeah, Victorian mystery. Yes, I have quite a sizable mystery collection here. Can't forget about this one, yeah. And then there were none. Thanks, Umineko, for introducing me to that one. Other than the front row, I also have uh, two Art of War books. Uh, here, this one, Undone. I think it was, what it's called in the UK, Gemini? My current slaughter. I'm gonna read this. I just bought this one today. I got a bird watching book. This is supposed to be for Mart, but I never really had a chance to give him. And this deadly fact book for insects, reptiles. Yeah. Mart, come get your books here. Come on. I have a couple of uh, World War II memoirs. I have Britain, Britain's Best Pub, pub but I believe it's not really updated right now. This is from the Battle of the Somme? Was it the Somme one or the Gallipoli one? This was the Gallipoli. This one's from the Royal Navy. This one's from a queen in England, yeah? Yeah, Mary Monarch's Wife. It's about Catherine. Yeah. Catherine of Braganza. Yes. You see it? It's right here. Please focus. Here we go. This one. Catherine of Braganza. Braganza, I mean. Sorry. I think I just triggered all the people right there. But I'm mispronouncing her name. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. I folded it. Oh, shoot. Don't do that. Oh, Christ. I folded it. Uh, this is just a gastronomy, gastronomy book that I'm not going to plan on reading. This one's about Pearl Harbor, Radio Man. 
This one's about Pearl Harbor, I believe. The radio sent. Radio I just landed that book without don't care. It's a hard copy. Hardbound, I mean. This one, I believe it's about um, Marie Antoinette and King Louis. Vincent Cronin. I also have the Civil War. Swing Shift is for ship. Right, the vic the uh, victory, liberty ships. There we go, liberty swing ship. I also have one for uh something uh, Austrian cinema something. Homemade man in post war Austria. I think it was for women. Women empowerment, I believe. And this one is uh, what is this? Histories of the aftermath after World War II. I'm gonna have a look at that later. We also have part of the Soviet Union right here. I think. There you go. Oh, let me just uh, get rid of my Jonathan Kellerman books right now. This one is about. Yes, here we go. Soviet Union's leading commentator, Vladimir Posner, Fun Ways with Illusions. Next one here is about the uh, Age of Sail ships. Here we go, Admirals. The Age of Nelson. Yes. I'm not into Navy stuff yet, though. No. It's nice to have. I think this one's uh, got a high reputation. Bravo Zero. Bravo Two Zero. Wait, Andy McNabb. You know this guy right here. And la last night, and also Crisis Four. Yeah, same story, but this one's based on a real story, I believe. His experience in somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure where. <laughs> then I also have... Uh, let's just put my two other books back here. Oh, come on. Okay, let's just uh, get rid of this. These three huge things. Here we go. This one's the one I mentioned. The Battle of the Somme. If you don't know what the Battle of the Somme is, I believe it's one of the most gruesome parts of the gruesome battles. The most bloody battles ever. World War wise. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very bloody battle. The Battle of the Somme. And this is Forgotten Voices. So it's like a memoir. Touch the Sky is about plane history, I believe. Let me see. Let me see again. It's been a while since I've last checked this one out. Yes. I, Harold Livingston. Touch the Sky. Let's see that for a bit. Oh, wow, it's heavy. Yes, it's about happy retirement, whoever that is. Yes, it's about planes. I love you. So yes, Battle of the Zom and my other Art of War book that I mentioned. And I think that's it. Should I should I make a make videos out of these? <laughs> I think I have 30 videos of this. Just a review. Double if I have a half read review. Which one should I go first here, huh? Do you remember any? I'm probably gonna go with this first because I'm almost done. By almost, I mean I'm halfway through. I could give a review right now, though. It's good. It's pretty good. It's quite entertaining. I want this to have a movie so I can see what Leia Kirby looks like. Because they said she's hot. She's a hot redhead, I believe. And I want to see her for once. Please do. But yeah, that is it. For this video. Which one should I go for first here? So one more look at the mystery section, the fiction section. Yes. Let's just uh, let's arrange that. I'm almost running out of space. So yeah, that's all. If you want me to make a yeah a book related video, just let just let me know.